All right, here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. This is my new mount, and I've just temporarily screwed it into my lac enclosure on the leg here just because I it was a quick, convenient place, but that's probably not the best place for it. I'll probably put them on, you know, on the actual wall back there or on the sides because I can fit multiple spools. And I just wanted to point out that this PTFE is that three millimeter inner diameter, this is basically zero friction kind, and it goes all the way to the back to filament one back there. So to demonstrate my new wall mountable hold, uh, mount, wall mount, I'm using my uh, metal threaded rod variety here, but it doesn't matter, use it whatever one you want. And I'm just going to put it on there. That's all there is to it. And you can see it's now, you know, pretend this is a wall and you've got it wall mountable. And it clicks in there a little bit, and it's not going to come out. But you can still pull it out, no problem. Not quite as easy to put in as the under shelf kind, but you know, still pretty easy. You just don't have to think about it really. Just put it in there, and you're good to go. Now this is my new ball and socket with the peg inserted into the hole, uh, which is much much stronger than the old version which is here so let's see if it breaks <laughs> while I'm changing this but the ball and sock is meant to be movable so I move that down there and now I can it's hard to do this with one hand but oh in theory I should be able to just feed this all the way up to the MMU all the way at the top let's see how it goes still can't see it but it's going in there. You can kind of hear my spring click. Oh, there it is. This, I, this would go much faster if I had two hands. All right, now let's switch this over. Okay, it's already on filament one. Pressing the load here. And let's load that baby. You can hear the clutch working. It's magic. All right, it's got the filament. And I know I didn't give it a pointy tip, but with the large bore selector I printed, it should be fine. And now I should be able to just do this um, to move this down. But because this is super low friction, I might have pulled it out a little bit. I'm just going to double check. I want to load it again. But I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's got it. Awesome. So there you go. That's how the new my new spool holder uh, wall mount works. And you can basically put these anywhere. Um, Basically, just want to put it You put put it anywhere, and actually, this actually works as an undershelf as well. It's just harder to insert than this super duper convenient wide opening. So there you go. That's my uh, wall mount solution, and I will have a vertical stand that basically incorporates this, but that just has a you know a floor to it. And there's two accessory ports here, and we should be able to just, I should be able to just plug this right into that adapter, and you'll have yourself a vertical spool holder. Or, you know, sideways, if you wanted it to be sideways. <laughs> there you have it.